Before beginning with the video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated of my latest videos. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Best of PowerPoint and in this video, I will be teaching you 4 different ways in which you can use computer mockups for your presentations. First of all, you need to download a computer mockup. I will be providing a link for the image in the YouTube show notes below or else you can simply type in the Google search bar and go for it. But do remember to hit the tools button here and choose the color as transparent and then download the image in the PNG format and not in the JPG format. Alright, so once you have downloaded the image, insert the image in the PowerPoint slide. The first way in which I am going to use this computer mockup image is to create a photo slideshow. Guys, I am just explaining the very basics of this computer mockup and rest it all depends upon your creativity to further beautify all these animation effects which I am going to explain. Okay, so what I will do is insert a bunch of images in my slide and let me first rearrange and sort them it's all messed up okay so i will bring in my first image inside the computer screen and adjust its size so as to fit it completely inside my computer mockup image you can take the help of the crop tool for the same then right click the image and select send to back Repeat the same steps for the other images as well. When you are done with all the images, it's time to begin with the animation process which is really very simple and easy. Select the first image and add fade entrance effect to it. Then add a fade exit effect to it. Right click and select send to back. Apply the same animation effects to the other images as well. First the fade entrance effect and then the fade exit effect. When you are done with all the images, open the animations pane and carefully select all the green entrance effects by pressing the control key like this and right click and select start with previous. Keep the red exit effects as it is which is start on click by default. Let's have a look what we have achieved so far. Beautiful, isn't it? The second way to use this computer mockup is for your video files. Simply drag your video file in the slide and adjust its size to fit it in the computer screen. Again, you can take the help of the crop tool if necessary. I am trimming this video and also selecting start automatically under the playback tab. And here it goes. The third way to use this mockup is really an interesting one. The computer screen can be used to display your website as well and when I say website, I mean the complete website homepage scrolled from top to bottom. And for this effect, you will need to install an extra plugin to your Chrome browser called Go Full Page Full Page Screen Capture. I will be giving the download link in the description box below. Download and install this extension first and after that simply click this icon after opening your web page which you want to display and the plugin automatically captures the whole web page in one single go.
and then all you need to do is download this image and insert it in your PowerPoint slide. Resize the image to fit it in the computer screen. Now as you can see, since the image is long, so I am inserting a solid rectangle shape in the slide to cover the extra parts of the image. Keep the color of the shape same as that of the background color, which in my case is white. Select the image, click on add animation and add up motion path effect to the image. Drag the motion path so that the image reaches to the very bottom with this effect like this. Open the animations pane and open the effect options. Reduce the smooth start and smooth end to 0 seconds. Under the timings tab, select start with previous and set the duration time to about 15 seconds. Oops, we need to insert that solid rectangle shape on the upper side of the computer mockup as well so that it hides the scrolling image going upward. So let me do that first and this is how it looks. The final way to use this computer mockup effect is for the slide zoom animation effect, which is very useful while making the whiteboard animation video. I have already explained it in one of my previous videos where I have discussed seven animation effects which can be used to create a full fledged whiteboard animation video. You can find the link of the same in the YouTube show notes below. To create the slide zoom animation effect, simply go to the insert tab and click this slide zoom button, insert the desired slide and fit it into the computer mockup and that's it. As simple as that. So these were some different ways to use a computer mockup and obviously you can create many more animation effects with this. Just keep trying something different and something new. So that's it guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please like and share the video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.